here we are Thursday, May 2nd. The plan was to go ride my bike 25 miles this morning. It's freezing out here, but I got some information from the city and that's why I'm coming down here. So this is gonna really change everything right now. Remember yesterday I said that it looked like things were starting to pick up? Well, things are starting to pick up and we're gonna get some good video. I'm gonna read you some info in a minute about what's going on here. But let's uh, get over to where this boring machine is right now because things are happening. Okay, so I will read to you what is happening in a second. This is this was across the street last week when they were doing the boring and that attaches to this big piece of equipment over here. I'm using the old camera so that you'll be able to hear me. I might have to go back and get some hearing protection. Remember this guy was uh, moving the dirt here yesterday? So we've got just an incredible view not being blocked that much by fences. So this is gonna be some really neat video and I'll tell you what's happening in a minute. There's also stuff happening down at the pumping station. I told you things were gonna be happening there. So we get a really nice view of this. so much glare I can't even see what I'm recording. There it is. Okay, so let me read to you. Oh, okay, on the see where it says 25 on the uh, in green on the bit. And 30 and 35, so the bit is marked for depth, which I couldn't see when it was at the other location. So I guess he's 25 feet down. Um, so let's read what's happening here. Hold on. This is really cool. How long, how, I'm trying to see how deep this, the length of the bit, but I can't see it right now. Pretty impressive. Okay, I'm dying over here from the cigarette smoke, so I can't stay here too long. Um, I'm trying to get the sheet of paper adjusted so I can read it. Let's go over to this dirt pile, get away from some of the noise so you can hear what I'm saying. Okay, so since yesterday, he removed all this dirt. It's all leveled down. And now I want to read to you what is happening. Let me get to a quieter location. Okay, this is called the infiltration tank site. That's where the big tank is going to be, that 250 foot diameter thing down at the bottom. And I believe the clarifier is going to go somewhere around here. Maybe not. So today the contractor will begin driving pile I was calling them steel beam, but I guess uh, they're called piles. I don't know. The contractor will be, begin driving pile for the clarifier tank. Okay, so I had said this was, I thought, the clarifier area, and it is. A long foul mouth. Later, the contractor will begin setting the form and begin working on the infiltration tank 255 feet in diameter. So the form happens to be... I believe the wood form is what he's talking about, the form for uh, for uh, where they lay the concrete, you know, when they do a driveway and they put wood form down there, so I think that's what he's talking about. So this is all uh, stuff.
steel, I believe the steel beams that I showed you on the other side of this property last week, that's what this is all about. So I'm going to go across the street to, uh, so we've got some serious activity here. I'm going to go across the street to uh, the pumping station. And this is going to be a dangerous corner to cross right now. Yeah, we a lot of equipment just showed up here. This green forklift? No, that's not a forklift. I don't know what that's called. That's a green. Let's call that the green 210 EP. So that is over there. I think that was across the street last week as a forklift. Maybe not. Let's go look and see what they're doing over here. They've got the sidewalk torn up. I don't know who this is, or this might be OHL. Let's go look and see what they're doing here. I don't even know if this is part of the job. This is City of LA. These are uh, inspectors. High performance. I don't know what the heck this is. But we'll find out in a minute. Okay, so we're going to go over across the street in a second. Try to safely cross. If that is possible. This is a really dangerous corner to be crossing right now. And now I'm going to read to you what they are doing over here today. The pumping station site. Contractor has finished driving all the 50 foot long piles. Oh, airplane. Hold on. Airplane always takes precedent here. Hawaiian Airlines. So the contractor contractor has finished driving all 50 foot long piles. Remember when I said somebody gave me the dimensions? You see over there where it says 24 by 146 by 50? So that's 50 feet. So you don't have to look it up for me. Driving all 50 foot long piles and almost finished with welding the whalers. I'm assuming those mid pieces are whalers. The next step is starting to excavate down just what I need. Man, I really need the hearing protection now. The next step is starting to excavate down to approximately 35 feet. Set form, which I believe again is the wood form for concrete, and build the underground structure used as pump wet wells. Wet wells? Okay. That's a new word for me. So that's what's going on here for the day. We've got a couple horse trailers behind me. I really want to get some video of the, uh, yeah, there's the welder back there. I really want to get some video of the piles being put on the ground on the other side. It's freezing out here, but if I don't get on that bike, I'm not going to get on the bike. It's just really cold. So, uh, that wood over there, I guess, is, I'm assuming that wood over there is being going to be used to set form. Maybe that's the, the wood they're going to use. Whoa. Maybe that's the wood they're going to be using in the ground to set the forms for the concrete. So, he said they're going to go 35 feet down, which... Um, maybe that's in the center of this uh, the steel beams. So they dug, they put the beams in 50 feet down, and now they're going to go 35 feet down. Um, all right, I really don't understand all of it yet, but the city is very nice to be uh, in communication with me, letting me know some info about what they're doing, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So. Uh, going to make this a short video. I'm going to head back over. There's very little going on now but welding. So, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the bike ride. If I don't do the bike ride, I won't do the bike ride. And when I get back here, that is when, that is when we are going to uh, have more video. I'll probably be out here a lot more now that things are kicking up. This is the big stuff.
Very cool. I love it. Now I remember across the street, now that I have the official word at the pumping station site, when they did this, it only took them about a day or two to do the drilling or the boring and get the, what I was calling beams, what I am being told are called 50 foot long piles into the ground. So, um, this might be done in a day or two. I want to see what the depth is on the, on that drill bit. Boring bit, whatever it's called. Okay, so I am making a temporary glare screen cover right now and to test it out and even with that I have massive amount of glare. That's interesting. I wonder how I'm going to do this. I have glare all over the place. So they're already prepared. They've got the wood with the open hole writing on there. And this boring is going really fast and they've got more activity over there. That's the green forklift that was across the street. Um, so we've done one, two, three holes. I don't see any wood. I don't know how many of these they're going to be doing. I think if I remember last time I counted those beams over there, there was something like 21 of them. I don't know if they're going to use all of them here. But we've got three open holes and we're going to look at the boring right now. The boring boring. They were obviously out here yesterday or early today marking these locations with the red paint that you see on the ground. looks like this is coming out. Even though, to me, I thought it was going in, it looks like it's coming out. Uh, this dirt must be really soft over here. Maybe it wasn't coming out. Maybe it was going in. Very confusing. Now he's going to move this thing over to the side and shake it a little bit and all the dirt will come off. I still can't see the writing on the, the bore, but it looks like it's 70 feet, I believe. So they're pushing. They drilled and then they take the dirt and they push it back in. I don't understand the point of that. I'm going to 
try to zoom in on the bit and maybe we can uh, in edit and maybe I can see what the numbers are. He's going back in again. So they've got one, two, three, four done, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight I see over there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So they're going to be putting fifteen of these. This will be done in no time. Yeah, he'll crank this out in probably in the next hour, if that long. Um, looks like all the dirt over here was dirt from what they dug up yesterday. And that truck over on the hill, he is taking that dirt and bringing, bringing it back up to that uh, pile on the west side of the property. So. I don't know, it's windy, it's cold, I'm really thinking I'm going to do the bike ride or I'll be out here all day, freezing, in a t-shirt. Um, let's try to get the numbers off this bit, if I can. They're marked off in green and purple. Whoa, what just happened there? Too much zoom. There's a number way, 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 way up at the top that I want to see. But I don't know if I can. As long as he doesn't spin this, no, I won't see it. This is the same piece of equipment. Hold on. Enough of this for the day. 25, yeah, this is about a 50 foot bore. But maybe, a, maybe a little bit more because they were drilling 60 feet on the other side. And I guess they're going to do 50 feet. I mean, they were drilling 50 feet on the other side. Probably going to be doing 50 feet on this side too. Uh, can I get the number? Probably not. Probably not. Thirty-five, forty, forty-five. I don't know. 
All right. So we are done for the day. We are done. Got some big flat boards here. I'm not sure what that is for. And then I believe these are the boards for the open holes. Yeah, open holes. Okay, so we've got that. Maybe this, uh, these are the forms for the concrete. And it's just going to be a lot of activity. Uh, there's going to be a lot of activity the next couple days, I think. Well, today's Thursday, so this is the piece that I believe they put on that orange uh, boring equipment, and that grabs the pile of the, the beam and allows them to slam it into the ground. So, all right, people, I shot more video than I was expecting today, and I think I'm just gonna force myself to get on that bike and do it. So let's count the beams before I get out of here. And see those holes there? Remind me of the holes at my mom's house. I believe, I thought that those were, at her house, I thought they were voles, then I thought they were moles, then I thought they were pocket gophers. I have no idea. Let's count the beams here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the bottom. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Is there another one over there? 17, 18, 19, 20. So my memory was good. I remember 21 from before. And we've got two beams over here, two shorter beams on the right side. Um, and let's go count and see how many beams we've got if I can see them, and then I'm going to get out of here. Um, but lots of stuff is happening. How many beams are over here? So 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 beams total. Whoa, listen to that. Something tells me if I do do that bike ride, I'm still not sure. By the time I get back, this is still going to be going on for hours. So there might be more video for the rest of the day. Uh, thank you again to the city for letting me know the update. I appreciate it. And that's it.